gentlemen, welcome to another WMG video. We've been waiting for this for a long time already. So here she is, FC Valentina. But before we proceed, please like and subscribe this video. So as we as we review her today, we'll take a look at um, what is new with with this FC. Uh, what the devs have have in store for us um, is she going to have a big effect in the PvP meta and to start let us again take a look at her design the design of her swimsuit oh my god um, she takes my breath away anyway I don't want to look at this anymore let's move on as a fate core, her stats are pretty much very decent. Um, not, not, not that you know, that, not that impressive. But uh, as you move, as we move to her passive, um, her mana absorb three. The first paragraph is pretty much the same as her original character, uh, and the next two paragraphs, flap flap and summer's blessing, is the same. So this is a little bit of a downer guys because we were expecting a little bit more of an oomph in her passive similar to Iris because she's a gold fate core. Um, usually the black fate cores have this generic passive but um, as I expect and my expectation is her passive should have at least another line there that is pretty much unique and that we could we could you know um, distinguish her well as a gold fate core um, let's move on to your to her s1 or skill one so it's the first line is deals 150 damage to one enemy afflicts target with frostbite dealing 92 percent damage every time every turn for eight for two for two turns so if you can, if you can remember her her original uh, her original um, character, it's pretty much the same. A little bit uh, of a damage increase. The next one is contempt mana burn, ten mana. Uh, all enemies affected with fear of the abyss. If the target is affected with fear of the abyss and bind all enemies for seven turns. This skill has been changed. Um, the difference with 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 the first one is the what you call this the bind the binding of all enemies for seven turns and if you, if you notice mana burn affects not only one one target or, or the target that you have damaged but it affects all enemies so this might be a game changer of a skill especially when you talk about pvp um the only drawback here is that she is frost and um, you will have a hard time in 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 dealing damage in your initial hit with frost because of summer's blessing but don't forget if you have battery in your lineup she can initially take down take down summer's blessing and then you could deal damage afterwards let's go to her skill number two which is seductive cage of despair so deals 525 percent damage to one enemy so also with contempt mana burn as well and also aff afflicts mana burn to all in to all enemies afflicted with fear of the abyss if the target is afflicted with fear of the abyss and bind all enemies for seven turns so same effect um the damage is a little bit higher but without the damage over time um if i may summarize her kit her kit can have a have a big upside or her kit might not be used at all so that is my take we have to test her in in the actual pvp or an actual um run at pvp and also we have to confirm if bind is a new uh, status effect or it might probably be blind because of the typo um, she is intriguing as a character because if if this this 
uh, effect mana burn and and bind works well and works synergously with uh, with uh, Shifraken this could change the meta again and this could bring in her and probably they will have another counter for her um but for now i'm a little bit skeptical yet i'm also optimistic on what she can do so i will reserve further judgment once i've play tested her um i will try to summon her uh when her banner becomes live later and we'll see right after that so as a gold fate core you will be required 28 core mileage just to pity her and that's a lot so i myself do not you know do not do not know if i have enough zest to summon her but i sure will try and also uh for her for her um exclusive weapon we have seaside cage valentina so it's uh it's not that you know it's not that necessary to get her 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 fate core weapon especially if it's uh what they call this it's uh 700 zest just to just to get one summon so so to obtain to obtain again to obtain valentina you will have a 0 0.05 chance of obtaining her so that is standard for all gold faded uh heroes so again um i'm pretty much in the if, if i rate her kit right now i'm pretty much at a five or a six i'm not sure yet if she will have an impact on the meta i i'm sure she will, will have a place um, in the game moving forward because number one she's not that mana intensive in terms of her skills and her skills are pretty much interesting in terms of the, the what do you call this in terms of the mana burn because 10 10 10 mana to uh, 10 mana to burn is pretty much very 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 um, very good and also if mana burn affects all enemies it would you know cripple your whole or you would it would cripple the whole team of your enemies so this will be a game changer depending on how synergous this skill is with the current pvp meta and well i have a lot of videos for you today um i will have to review the other videos that uh, other characters that dropped today together with this update so update 2.0.0 um i'll have that in the next video anyway guys that is that is what i have for you today always take care always uh, be with your family always take care of each other and i'll see you in the next video